let him cook. The air is still and plain, as tasteless as water. The parts and ingredients are laid out beneath you like fodder. You visualize the perfect cuisine in your head and attempt to prepare it on whim. Young chef, your life has begun. Let the performance begin. Briskly, you begin to clutter your parts and set them into place. Hanging tones in the air as you try to set your pace. Trying to get ahead of those around you, you have now entered the race. As aromas diffuse into the air, good and bad odors cleave into your nose. Your composure crumbles and you realize you're all alone. Dashing ingredients and turning up the heat, physical compounds to the grate. You wish the meal was over as you begin to plot your escape. In your pot, a bubbling stew of everything unholy. All foods popping out, soup leaping about as your faith wavers and you're dawned with a melancholy. An aroma simmers in the air and bounds you to its origin. There your eyes lay on a master work and feelings of hope are born again. With utmost finesse, their hand blends with the gentle, turning to and fro. Ingredients are dashed in, pots start singing as the chef prepares a dish no one knows. With flamboyancy and elegancy of royalty, the chef is on feet. Like an artist painting on air, you're in awe of this truly divine technique. Your eye swings back to your dish and your face wrinkles once again. You question yourself and ask why you can't cook like them. A heavy hand lands on your shoulder, a light behind you no one can see. A soft and warm voice floats out and it says, surrender it all to me. Your hands quiver as you hold out your utensils and light throws them away and says, I don't need these. But rather whips out a small spoon, points to the master and says, I'll make you even greater than he. If the master was divine, then the light inconceivable, as the height of his prowess can only be described as unreachable. Sanguine aromas bloom out of the once tested pot, and confidence arises in you to take the spoon and declare enough has been taught. But once again, the young chef throws everything to ruin, and the task of cooking is once again too grand. About to give up, feelings of rebound, and on your shoulder is that glistening hand. Young chef, lend me your ear, and pierce my words to your heart like a hook. In this race, there is no point in casting your eyes at Master saying, take a look. The bright light your Savior, Jesus Christ, is always there when you feel shook. So don't take your eyes away from him, nor take the spoon. Young chef, let him cook.